Here we have an example from Hartebeersport Dam, which is west of Pretoria, north of Johannesburg, of a Chuesta or homoclinal ridge, which can be more clearly seen in the satellite view from Google Earth. If we draw a cross section, north, more or less north south, across the ridge, there is the top of the ridge, and then we look at the two different slopes as you cross the ridge. From A to the top, there's the top there, that line more or less follows the top, and then down to B. The two, two sides are distinctly different. See here the contours are all evenly spaced, and they are fairly far apart. And that would imply, of course, that if we were to carry on up the slope here, it's a fairly gentle slope, and then you get to the top of the slope over there, and it's going to go down steeply, and then flatten out. And that is the typical form of the homoclinal ridge, or chuesta. Chuesta, Spanish word, spelled C C U E S T A. homoclinal ridge. The top photograph shows the scarped slope viewed from the south and the bottom one shows the cuesta viewed from the other side. In other words it dips down to the right not to the left as in the diagram with the scarped slope on the left but you can see, clearly see the dipping rocks. Now this is formed when the hard rock layers are dipping down at an angle. So this in the case of Hartebeersport Dam, Machalisberg, this is, is quartzite, it's very hard rock, and through time it is eroding backwards in that direction. But the hard rock creates a very steep slope, and then the top of the hard rock cause, creates this more gentle slope. The gentle slope is referred to as the dip slope, because it follows the dip of the rock, and then this is an escarpment or scarp, so this is called the scarp slope. And there are a number of these all over South Africa, but I think this is probably the best single example. And those of you who live in the Pretoria-Johannesburg area have probably seen it. Right, here we have a terrain of folded topography as seen on a contour map. This particular map of Langsburg is very famous because there was a very serious flood here in the 1980s, but this flood has got nothing to do with what we're talking about now. What we're interested in here now are these ridges, which can be clearly seen when we superimpose the Google Earth satellite picture on the map. So there is a ridge going right across here, and here is another one can see from the contours close together and the high points along the top of the ridge. Here is another one. And here is another one. So straight away we can see from this highlighting that one of the major characteristics of folded terrain is that you have parallel ridges and valleys. We can put in some of the rivers, and you'll see then the rivers which flow along the valleys are going to accentuate that. So there is a river there, and then for reasons that we won't worry about now, it crosses over the mountains, goes right down there, um, something like that. But all the way along in between, there are streams in between those ridges. This is called a trellis drainage pattern, and is associated with fold mountains. Okay, so you can see there the rivers forming like a lattice or a trellis. But what we're interested in today is the the features of the contours themselves and how they show us this terrain. You'll see here parallel contours and the top of the ridge you can see two ways. You can either follow the spot heights or you can see over here for instance there is a closed contour, goes right round in a circle. If you take this point here, 
goes right round. And so those circles where the contour is closed mark the high point of the ridge. So if we do that throughout, you can see the high points of the ridges, and that again accentuates it. So you find the top of the ridges by looking for those closed circles and for the spot heights. And wherever we go along here, you can see those closed circles. Uh, perhaps not quite so obvious here because it extends all the way around along there. But there it is again, and again over there, and over there. Likewise here, there, and so on and so forth. Okay, not so clear here because it extends off the edge of the map. Right, so parallel ridges, how are they formed? We have said that this is associated with fold mountains. So if we were to draw a cross section from north to south like this, a one, two, three, four ridges, and they would look something pretty much like this. They're quite steep both sides, down the other side, up the other side, something like that. Now how could these form? Well, just by speculation, because we're not there and can't actually look at the dip of the rocks, but it may well be that the original rock surface the original line of that hard rock that's forming those ridges did something like this. And then underneath the surface it does that. And then over like that. And underneath the surface, let's make it underneath the surface solid so that you can see. So this is now hard rock and where it cuts the surface it stands up as a ridge and then that would have gone off there somewhere. So folded rocks then cause this kind of feature and then it gets eroded away and depending on what else is going on, so for instance these folds here would be soft, all these rocks would be folded but they would be softer rocks so they don't stand up as, as ridges. The photograph shows some of the deeply dipping strata next to the N1 as it goes through these ridges. Right, so that gives you an idea. Now each one of these things looks in structure very much the same as a cuesta, but in fact they're so steep that you can't really tell just at a glance which side, whether you're looking at the dip slope or the scarp slope. So if we mark off dips and scarps here, then you can see parallel to the rock layer is the dip slope, at right angles to the rock layer is the scarp slope. So scarp, dip, dip, scarp. And then each of these individual ridges, because it's the same on either side, somebody once thought they looked a bit like the back of a pig, and so they are called hogs backs. Okay, so that is the basic characteristic of fold mountain terrain.